Hi, my name is Lestina Inspires, and I am looking to change the narrative of what trauma and abuse looks like. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. It's Lestina Inspires. I decided to rock my fro today. Today is the official first day of radiation treatment. Um, for those of you who have been following my journey, maybe you're new to this, let me first introduce myself. I am the Lestina Inspires. I am a well-running author. I am a healing and recovery accountability expert as well as a coach. And I'm also the owner of Create of uh, Rocky Rebel Creative Collaborative Consulting Company, where I provide creative content, creative designs, and creative strategies to um both individuals, ministries, and organizations alike, partnering with them to bring their vision to life. And so I am gonna, I'm on here, I was gonna do a live and I'm like, no, I don't know if I'm gonna feel like going live after my treatments. So I am on here before the treatments just to encourage you guys and encourage myself. Um, I know for me is a big brave step of coming on here and sharing my journey in the real rawness, in the real emotions, in real time, um, so that you can see the glory of God in my life through it all. And so I have many different emotions that come that just go flow. Um, and so I've allowed my I'm allowing myself to process them all as they come because at the end of the day, I am human and I do feel what I feel. Um, and I know that if I try to suppress them, they will try to um, spill over and take over and define me. And I am not cancer. Um, cancer is actually a, a foreign thing that does not belong in my life or in my body. And so it has to leave and it is defeated by the blood of Jesus. But in the meantime, in between time, um, there are very real things happening to my body, very real things happening to my emotions and my mind that I have to process healthily. And there are some days where I just don't want to smile. I don't want to be encouraged. I don't want to be inspiring. I don't want to be happy. Um, yesterday was one of those days. I was very irritated. I felt overwhelmed because I had to go pick up my cane and it was just like the reality of, of, of my new normal, whether it's temporary or not hit. And I'm like, I don't want this to be permanent and I'm believing by faith that it will not be but still it still hits you know from being a very active person from being someone that worked out go lift weights jogs walk six miles on a daily basis you know to going from that to now needing a cane having a wheelchair to go to my appointments needing my son to come with me you know to assist me Sometimes needing help putting my pants and socks on and taking them off. Sometimes needing help getting in and out of the shower. Sometimes needing help getting on and off the toilet. It's been a real experience, a real journey. And it is definitely humbling, you know. Um, I don't have any shame. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, it is a big pill to swallow. And I realized I was watching either YouTube TikTok or Instagram video. I don't know where, where I was watching it on. And the person said that they were grieving the old them. And I realized I'm going through a grieving process. I never really had to grieve because I never really um, lost anyone significant that really mattered to me um, in my life. And so I never know. I don't didn't know or don't know how that feels until now because I realize I have moments where I'm angry, moments that I'm sad, moments that you know I'm just like this is not okay. You know what I'm saying? And so I realize I'm grieving the old assignment because I would never go back to her. You know, I'll never go back. To, and I'm not saying I'll never walk again. I'm not saying I'll never be active again. But the person I was prior to this diagnosis and what I, you know, what's what I'm experiencing will not be so. And I have to be okay with that, but I still have to process that. And so I know that coming out of this, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be greater. I'm going to be amazing because the Lord is, you know, on my side. And I know that the person that I will be after this will be amazing, but it does not mean that I don't grieve what was. And so I'm allowing myself that process. I, in the meantime, I'm searching for therapists, um, which has been a, a, a ongoing tedious process. I did not expect to be so tedious but I'm gonna press my way through with that um and so I just wanted to share this that that sometimes you know when we experience things that, that are traumatic to us whether it's um and usually when we experience traumatic things they are life-changing they do affect us they do impact us 
allow your yourself time to grieve and process what you're experiencing. You don't have to push your emotions out and push your way through it. Act like you're happy every day. Some days you may not be able to express how you feel. Some days you may not be ready to talk about it or even process it on that day. But don't let too many days go by where you're not processing it. Because then what happens is you become that pain. You become that trauma. You you start to be one with it. And that's not something that we want to do on our healing journey. We want to acknowledge that it's there, that it's real. But we want to process through it, not stay in it. And so... That is what I'm learning to do. I'm learning to process through it. I'm learning to not allow fear to overtake me. I'm learning to um, be real with myself on how I feel and express myself healthily to those around me when they ask. And if I don't feel like being bothered and they're, that's more times, more often than not, learn how to say that in a very nice way that doesn't offend others, you know, um, and not be offended by people's response because people respond to you based on who they are and not who you are at times. And so, um, and I'm learning to give myself grace. Um, I'm learning to, to see myself as beautiful despite how I feel. Cause some days I just be like, you know, um, and very real, real truth. I'm like, I had, you know, I'm like, I want to, you know, I had hopes of and desires to be remarried again. And sometimes I think like who, Who's going to marry someone that has gone through cancer twice and is not able to really walk? This is my truth. This is how I feel at times. It does not mean that it's true. It's my truth in that moment of how I feel. And I do not allow myself to, I've learned not to allow myself to take those feelings at face value and keep and run with them, but process them. And so I just wanted to encourage and inspire someone who may be having the hardest time in their life. It does get better. At some point, it will get better. Don't be ashamed to get help. Don't be ashamed to say, like, I'm not okay. Don't be ashamed to say, like, I am really grieving what was. I missed who I was. I missed my old life. Um, no matter, And acknowledge that. And don't be afraid to say you need help. Because sometimes talking to that best friend, talking to that family member, talking to that spouse is not enough. You need someone who is professionally trying to help you through this process. I love you guys and remember to be bold, be unashamed, and most importantly, be healed. Peace out.